Well, good morning. Welcome back to Central Ontario. It is a gorgeous day today. That second storm blew through pretty hard last night. A lot of lightning, a lot of thunder, and a lot of more rain. But uh, I took a look around, went up the driveway, everything's clear. I've just got one tree down. It's an old dead tree that fell down on the trail behind the shed. But other than that, I've got a bunch of tractor work to do. So if you've got some time today, grab a coffee. I'd love it if you hung around. Cheers. got a lot of tractor work to do today and I think one of the things I should add to the list is to give this thing a bath because it's getting pretty dusty. But before we begin today, I just want to take a moment out to thank all the subscribers that were kind enough to put birthday wishes in the comments of the video last week. My daughters, of course, and my wife, they watched my videos and of course she was she saw everybody's comments and she was really touched uh, by how many people uh, sent in such nice wishes for her. So big thank you. She told me to make sure I mentioned it and I, I just wanted to reach out and say thanks. We got a lot of work to do today. Uh, as I mentioned to you, got a tree down, just the one, so that's not so bad, especially after a storm like yesterday. So it's just going to take me a few minutes. It's not going to take long to chainsaw that up because I'm just going to cut it into length so I can grapple it and put it on the burn pile. That tree is dead through and through, so I doubt very much there's any firewood. And I'm not sure about the branches for chipping, but what I'll do is at least get it out of the way on the burn pile so it's out of the, the trail. This is going to be kind of the main trail where I'm going to start building into the forest over time with the tractor. So I want to clear that out. There's a bunch of boulders and rocks in there that I've got to dig out with the grapple. And as well, I've got a very uneven ground in there. So I'm going to take the bucket afterwards, maybe see if I can dig it up and smooth it out a little bit on the trail. And then I'm going to grab some of the wood chips that we, uh, we chipped over the last few weeks. I'm going to start spreading them out. Uh, i got a couple of spots on the driveway and in the back here where I want to drop a little more aggregate. So we've got a bunch of different things to do today, so stick around, uh, hopefully you'll find it enjoyable, and we'll see what this uh, B2601 can do. Cheers. Over the past few months I've had a few comments from folks that had asked me why I spent the money to buy a ballast box when I've got so many other rear implements that are you know, good size and weight. And the reason why I, I did it was not so much that the box blade or the, you know, the rear blade or any of the other attachments don't weigh enough to offset the front for ballast, it's because when you're working in the forest, you want to be as narrow and as thin and nimble as possible for turning and, and working between trees. So unfortunately, all those implements are 60 or 72 inches in width, which means they extend outside the footprint of the tractor. Whereas the ballast box is going to give me about 400 pounds and it's more concentrated and it sits within the footprint. So that's why I spent the money to get it for just for days like today.
Okay, tree's done. Uh, it was pretty quick. I'm getting a little bit better at it with this tractor, but you know, especially for you new guys, same as me, it's very unsettling when you're working through the forest because the ground is so uneven. And as you can see in many spots in the video, there are a lot of big boulders throughout the ground here. And you're, you know, you've got one tire going on and it almost feels like you're constantly watching the ground around you because the tractor keeps swaying from one side to the other. And what I'm going to do now is try to dig out some of these boulders, maybe line them up along the side of the driveway here. And then I'm going to grab the bucket to see if I can smooth this ground out a little bit before I throw down the, the wood chips. Stick around. Thanks. Well, that worked a whole lot better than I actually expected. I, I got to tell you, uh, so many times, especially if you're a new tractor owner or you're thinking about buying a tractor, you're always in the back of your mind trying to think, you know, did I buy a big enough tractor? Is there enough power? Is it going to do what I need it to do? And this B2601, it, it just keeps doing it. I, uh, I couldn't believe it got those boulders out, but uh, it did it. And actually, the most surprised I was is it dug that old rotted stump out, ripped it right out of the ground. So really happy with it. This root rate grapple, I love the way it's designed with the big thick tines and the way it just digs through the ground, rips up the roots as well as catches all the rocks and allows me to lift them out, curl them out, grab them, take them away. And you can also, as you notice, I use the tines a few times forward just to back drag the dirt back into the hole. So she's coming along really well. I'm pretty much done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw the bucket on the tractor because as I mentioned, I've got a few other things I've got to do as well as I'm going to use the bucket just to spread and even this out a little bit to flatten it a bit. And then I'm going to drop uh, some gravel into the back of the driveway there and I'm going to throw the chips on the beginning of the trail. And I think uh, that's a good day's work. So stick around. We're almost done. Cheers.
Okay, she's done. Uh, really pleased. Boy, that chipper, I think that might be a keeper because I got a lot more chips to go, but paths all cleaned out, flattened out, rocks are out, trees out, stumps out. Did a good job today. One thing left, just going to put some sand into the back of that driveway and then we're all finished up. So bear with me, hang in there, we're almost done. I'm all done for the day. I hope you found it enjoyable. Got a lot of different tasks and chores done today. You're probably thinking a few of you that I probably could have made two or three different videos out of today. And uh, what I wanted to do is I just wanted to show you, especially folks that are considering a tractor or new tractor owners, that you can get a whole lot of your chores done in a day. I mean, some of them take half an hour or an hour. And I know usually when you're watching my videos, I do one thing in the video. So I grade the driveway or I snow plow the driveway uh, or, you know, I cut the grass. But you actually you get a lot of things done because tractors are very efficient. And uh, I'm really pleased with the performance of that B2601 as you saw today. Got a lot of my chores done. Tomorrow we're heading up the driveway because I've got a couple of big boulders sticking out of the middle of the driveway. And I've got to get those things cleared one way or another before the winter time comes because I'm going to have a hard time running that snowblower over them. But I uh, hope you enjoyed today. I hope it was informative or entertaining. If you like my channel, please hit subscribe, hit that like button. And if you want to know when I'm posting videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you again. Cheers.